All right, welcome back to Blade District. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. We're getting close to that 100 subscriber mark. We're gonna be doing some giveaways as we keep growing. Let's get into today's unboxing. I have two here. This is part of another box I unboxed that I didn't open yet. Uh, what else came in this? I'm trying to think. Literally just unboxed it the other day. All right, that was it. It was the Kaiser Lieb. I'll put a link up here. That was from Knife Country USA. And I got two, uh, what do you call it? Like traditional case knives, like traditional lock back case knives in here. I got one for my father that I'm gonna give him for Father's Day. The other one I'm gonna keep for myself. I still need to see, uh, it's like a motorcycle driving by. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. We're gonna see which one I'm gonna keep. I'm not 100% sure yet. One is Chrome Palladium. The other one is the, uh, what do they call it? True Sharp or True Steel. I forget the lingo. And this one is from White Mount Mountain Knives. One in here is going to go to my father for Father's Day with the case traditional lockback. The other one is the Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. That's going to get its own unboxing. So let's get into this. We got a little Spyderco Ambitious to open this guy up. So small, but and it's not smooth by any means. Like This is not dropping at all. But D10 is strong, so if you do a Spidey flick, it flies. All right, so in here let's just get it out actually i didn't even say what i have in here yet right besides the petrified fish which is not going to get unboxed today it's the ontario rat number what is it number one it's the bigger one I believe it's number one so my father is not really into knives so to say he's not a knife guy but uh you know we're italian he's got a garden in the backyard and I've seen knives laying around the house here and there when he's um, just going outside cutting weeds in the garden and they're pretty old. I don't think they're brand name knives or anything. It's probably stuff he picked up in the past. So I wanted to get him something. This is small. This is the Petrified Fish Beluga. We're saving this for another day. Put it on the side. So I wanted to get him something that he could bring outside, beat up and abuse. It'll keep up to it, but it's also good. And I think the Ontario Rat really fits the bill for a good budget, strong EDC. And then, like I said, the Case Traditional is going to be more of that classy knife that he can do what he wants with and kind of carry it as he pleases. Let me just um, put this down real quick. So, first, we're just going to take a look at the Ontario Rat number one. I think it's number one. I keep wanting... Yeah, one is definitely the bigger one. This is an orange. Again, I got something that is bright so he can see it if he... I don't know. He's outside in the garden and he drops it. He can see it. So I actually have a rat number one in... Uh, what is it? Like the green. And then I have a rat number two in black, small. So just so folks can take a peek. This is nothing new by any means, but I just wanted to unbox it real quick, give you guys a first impressions and look at the orange in case folks aren't familiar with the orange. Now this is a big knife. I got smaller hands. This is a big knife. From recollection, the other two that I have are super smooth for being on washers. Let's see how this guy feels. Perfect, beautiful. Oh yeah, that is so smooth. I really, really like this knife. The Ergos are great. I like the two, the smaller one for me a little bit better. This jimping and a little ramp up here is really great. But for him doing a yard work and stuff outside, I figured the bigger one is gonna do great for him in this nice bright orange. So that's it. Let's go take a look at the case knives now. All right, so here are the case knives. These are the mini copper lock. Oh, we got more of that stuff. This was, um, they put this in the other one too. What are you? Let me, uh, I don't want to make a mess. All right. So like I was saying, one of these is a uh, chrome palladium. One of them is the other steel. I forget hundred percent what they call it. True sharp or true steel or something. Dark red bone peach seed jig. This is the CV, the chrome palladium. Mini copper lock on both. And then this one is, um... I gotta look, I forgot. How do they call this one? Crimson Red. Okay, yes, I remember. Okay, I remember. This is kind of a bright red from recollection and this is like a um, red with a little bit of like black or just discoloration in it. So let's look at the Chrome Valadium first. I don't wanna ruin these boxes. Like I said, one of these two are going to him, one's gonna go to me. Not 100%. Oh, I forgot they package these things so beautifully. Let's try and be careful with this. I'll open it and then I'll put them away later. These make great 
gifts and I really like the look of the mini copper lock. I've had, actually I still have it. I have a blue one for myself. Just look at that. It's just beautiful. I've always loved the way these look. So this is the chrome Valladium. I love the brass liners. Can you catch that in there? You can see more on the back. The brass with the silver color and the red just looks really, really nice. And they're always so smooth too. Unlike some of the Bucks, which nothing against Buck, I actually just got a 5.5, a small one. It kind of compares to this as far as the size goes. I love those too. But this just has more of a like um, a smoothness to it. A very nice smoothness to it. This is the mini copper lock again. So I got smaller hands and I can get a nice grip to it. Again, just the first impressions unboxing because this is going to go to my father. Either that one or this one, most likely this one. But just check out that red with the brass, the silver, gold, and red. I just think that color combo looks amazing. And then what do we have? The case badge right there. All right, let me put this away two seconds, or I'll put it away later. Let's move it to the side and open this one up real quick. I'll leave this guy right here, actually. So now this one is going to be similar, but it's not going to be the chrome Valladium, and it's going to be, from recollection, a little bit of a darker tinted red. I already have a blue one, so I may keep this one for myself. I think he may like the chrome Valladium. See how it patinas and everything. Hmm. This is much darker than I expected. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. So in the photos, which maybe I'll throw one on screen real quick. From recollection, I've got the photo in front of me. It looked much more red. It looked more like this red with a little bit of black inside the grooves and stuff. But, as you can see, this is as dark red as you can get. It's almost brown, black looking. This is a little bit more from what I remember, but again, this is super, super dark in there, which is a little bit of red. I do wish this one looked more like the photos, that it was a little bit more of a red. Because this looks nothing like what I purchased. From recollection, again, I probably would have put a photo on screen. That's really gritty. Oh my, yeah, something's wrong with this one. Right here, it's super, really gritty. You gotta push it a lot, and then it closes. This one, for example, super smooth. Close the same way. Once it passes, it just closes. This one, on the other hand, Right when it hits here. Very, very gritty, giving it some force. Same way on the close. It's very hard. And then it gets smooth when it goes here. So yeah, something is not right with this one. You know, I'm not someone to complain and whatnot, but when I have a gift that I'm going to be giving someone, and like I said, I'm not sure which one, not only does this not look like what I purchased, it's extremely gritty. So I'll reach out to them. Like I said, I got these from Knife Country USA. That compared to this. This just opens and closes like butter. Just the way the blue one that I have. Smooth both ways. Open, close, all the way. This one, it's smooth till here. Once you get here, I'll do it in one fluid motion. Okay, you gotta push hard. Then it goes right there. That's using the same force, just so you guys can see the difference. See, see that? But other than that, you have those same brass, gold-colored liners, lock back. So here's just a quick glimpse of them again, just so we can get it. If anyone's curious, let me get the boxes real quick. So the chrome Valladium one, which is on top, is listed as this, as far as item number, dark red bone peach seed jig mini copper lock. There's all the numbers, CV for chrome palladium. 
And this one was marked as Crimson Red Bone Peach Seed Jig Mini Copper Lock. There's a number for you on that one if anyone's interested. So like I was saying, just a quick unboxing of these two knives as well as the Ontario Rat number one, which was in the beginning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I think this makes a great Father's Day gift. I think he's really gonna enjoy one of these two. Well, I'll probably have to give him this and get a return on this one or an exchange, because I do want to keep it. And the Rat for more hard use, this for more delicate use. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As I said earlier, be sure to subscribe if you're interested in more knife content. You could also follow me on Instagram at Blade District. Some giveaways coming into the future. Appreciate all the support. Thanks a lot. Catch you guys soon.